Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, let's jump into the next topic here. You and I pride ourselves on, you know, wanting a, a voice for the actual football players, right, in college. That's that's what we like to discuss on here. We believe that they should be able to transfer. They should be able to do whatever they want to do, et cetera, get paid, get what all that stuff, right? So, very interesting article in The Athletic by David Ubin and several other writers. They surveyed 45 college football players uh, discussing whether or not they want to come back and play this season, right? And that's that's the biggest thing. We've discussed it from coaches to athletic directors to school presidents to health officials, etc. And nobody has bothered to ask the players if they want to come back and play. You know, Blake Snell, we discussed that with Major League Baseball. He didn't want to. Right, he he said, I, "Look, I got a contract. I'm either getting paid my contract or I'm not playing, and it is what it is." So, college football players, however, on a scale of one to five, how worried are you about being infected with coronavirus if you are asked to report back to school and the team this summer? From one being extremely worried to five, not worried at all. We had eighteen fives, eighteen fours. Now that's thirty six out of forty five, right there. Seven that were completely neutral on it. Two that voted number two that are kind of worried. And then zero that were extremely worried. So there's not a single college player that they interviewed uh, this anonymously. This is a really small sample size, though. It is. There it are 13,000 college football players. Yeah, You got 100 I mean, Brown, kids yeah. on 130 teams. Yeah. And they, they took 45 and they got of them. 45 of them. This is why nobody's talked to the players because there's no way for the players to speak as one. True. Because I mean, there's, there's just too, too many. many of them. Yeah, there's too and many of them. And they're spread out all over the world. Um, on a scale of one to five, how comfortable would you be with playing in front of a full stadium or limited capacity stadium this season? Uh, 27 said very comfortable. Uh, one person said, uh, voted two, which was kind of worried. Everybody else was a, a three or a four. On that, so basically everybody's fine with whatever. If they have fans, if they don't, whatever. Um, a lot of people. I mean, it's completely split on is it unsafe for fans to attend the games. So a lot more kids are worried about their families being in attendance as opposed to uh, whether or not they are playing. Twenty four would prefer a delay over twenty one that want to go on and play um, with fans in the stands. So I I think. The biggest thing here, um, the kids don't really seem to care about it. They just want to come back and play. I found that kind of odd. And, yeah, it's a, a small sample size. Uh, Matt jumps in and said some of the college girls they hook up with have stuff way worse than the Rona. Matt, I swear to God. <laughs> he's not wrong. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I found it interesting that this was what came out of these 45 guys. There are multiple players from G5, P5, and they got several players, uh, several, they got two players from uh, from FCS schools. So they tried to make it kind of varied as, as best they could with what they had, obviously. Um, I just don't know how you only get 45 people. Like, I, If you're on. asking like six or seven questions, you should be able to ask a lot of people, especially if you're giving them no, anonymity. No doubt. You're the athletic. You're a big organization that has a monster reach across this country. I mean, you can find a lot of these kids on Twitter, on Facebook, yep. et cetera, and just send yep. them the questions. No doubt. I mean, good No gracious. doubt whatsoever. Tommy Jarvis jumped in and said, I'm ready for some parlays. Yeah, me and you both, brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, both. But this doesn't surprise me. I think if they were to ask, you know, 500 kids, I think – the ratios are going to be close to this. Yeah. I mean, I think that, I think they're like, it's kind of one of those things where we don't ask the kids questions. We already know the answers to, Yeah, you know, it, it's like, nice I, to get like, their voice, it, but and here's the other thing. I'm going to tell you this. If anybody was a one, I don't know that they'd tell you. Agreed. I, how many of those twos, if those, you've got two twos. What if they're both ones, but they're just afraid to be that. I mean, because if any time gets leaked out, who said what? Now you're going to be criticized and ostracized by your teammates. That's a very good point. So you can you can claim anonymity all you want to, but 
Uh, if it comes out that it was actually you that said, hey, I'm extremely worried about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the biggest surprise to me was that the players were more in favor of delaying the season. They just based, want to play in front of fans. Yeah, based of upon fans. Of yeah, based upon whether or not fans would be able to attend. But that has nothing to do. That's just, that's just, it's just boring. Yeah. I mean, you is it, you're, you're playing I mean, in an empty stadium. Like, it, you, they you do practice that for every day in front of nobody. Yeah. They'd like to play in front of, you know, 50,000 people. I mean, it's like, like you and I right now. I mean, we're, we're doing this. There's going to be about a thousand people that see this. Um, you know, it's, yeah, we're not sitting directly in front of people, and it kind of changes things. I think we would be doing this differently if there was a thousand people sitting in front of us. Right now, we're just talking into a camera. It's it's a little different, right? So, yeah, I can understand why they would want to play in front of fans. Uh, I think, I mean, that might have something to do with why colleges are, I take that back, it's all money. They, they just want fans in the stands for money. I know. 